And welcome back, everybody, once again to, uh, what's it called? The Strawberry Jam number 10, The Apocalypse. I am TJ the Obscure here with you. We are still playing Ty's, Ty, Ty Plays Games, uh, The Undead's Return. We This should be the final episode. We're headed after the Black Bull. This ended up being a six objective map, which, considering they only had 72 hours to make it, I, that's that's pretty impressive, especially with... Uh, the final product that we have here. Um, I noticed some um, mossy cobble up here, and so I dug dug around. Uh, there's nothing up there. That's just just a mistake, I'm guessing. But I got so excited, I was like, "Yes, there's secrets, you guys. I love secrets and maps. I love I love things that I can find and explore. I don't I don't show a lot of this, but I spend a lot of time off camera, like just going back to areas and like looking for stuff." Uh, I guess I don't always do that, but, but most of the time I do. Alright, we have lots of stuff. Let's see here. I made these guys. I enchanted them. That's what I got. I was really hoping for feather falling, but whatever. It's protection four. And then I enchanted that as well. Found this pick. Found that pick as well. In fact, we can go ahead and put that guy up. Got a lot of iron, a lot of gold. Uh, that was the first chest plate that I tried to make, and yeah, I was going to make a sword, but we don't, I didn't quite have enough for 30 levels. I have destroyed all of the spawners, I think, in the map up till up to this point, and there's no natural spawns. There's a lot of ore in this, this area back here that I could, that I could try to mine, but that would take a long time to get to level 30, I think. So anyways, we are headed, oh, do I have any more arrows? Is that really all the arrows that I have? Uh, that could prove to be bad. Could prove, yeah, okay, whatever, whatever. Let's just, let's just do it and hope it's not, it's not too evil. This is the last area. I'd highly recommend getting all the other rules, rules before entering. Alright, it's in the end. I, I haven't been to a CTM area in the end in a long time, I think. Like, I really want to say it's Vinyl Fantasy 2. And that's, that's an old map, so, um... Yeah. Anyways, let's let's go ahead and hop in and see what we have in store for us. I think I want to put that on the bar just to be safe. We Oh gosh. All right, we are Don't worry, there's glass in between the bedrock. Are you sure? Are you sure, guy? There's going to be just one missing piece. Just one little missing piece. <laughs> Take me to the last area. Blocks. Ooh, that's actually something that I needed, so I will go ahead and take that. What does it say? Walk here to exit the end. All right. You know, I saw this a long time ago in, uh, t t t what's his name? Brian? Gosh, Brian plays Minecraft. I can't think of his, oh, Logan, Logan. Logan's map, the vanilla swirl, and I was like, whoa, it's some new custom texture. But no, that's just from the little end, what are they called? The end portal things? I don't know. I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about, though, right? Okay, I guess I guess it's time to go to the last area. Are you serious? Oh gosh, this is kind of creepy. I really like the concept behind this though. All right, we have guys in diamond armor, we have spiders and we are above void. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to Oh man, this is going to make me nervous. Make me nervous. Looting 10 for the enderman, I'm guessing, some strength and some more food. What are these things? Those might be the little ender portal things that I was talking about. Alright, I do have punch two on this bow, so it should come in handy. And clearly there are zombie spawners on either side of the walkway here. I really just need to look out for... We have... Wait, it's, it's saying that I have speed, but I feel really slow right now. Um, yeah, why do I feel so slow? Huh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know why I'm going so slow. But it definitely feels like I'm going slow. Definitely feels like it. Oh, there's Blaze. Are you serious, guy? And as far as I know, there's not really any, like, fire resistance in the map. Oh, there's one right here somewhere. Get him! Kill him! Kill the Blaze! Kill the Blaze! And... Just to make things a little safer on me... I love, I love the concept behind this, though. The, uh... The void fog. Yeah, what what height are we at? We're at six, right? I think that's that's right. Something like that. X no, cause no, cause Y is the middle one, right? So we're only at fifty nine. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Why we can't see? I guess it's oh, it's the blindness. Duh. 
Duh, guy, you got blindness. You're blind. Thought you would have figured that out by now. Apparently not. Apparently not. Oh, oh. Oh, gosh, I'm so... So scared. Oh, that guy scared me. Get him. Get him. Get him. Do that. Do that. Make make the cobble walkway. Make the cobble walkway. We like the cobble walkways. Oh, I'm so... Oh, la la la. I don't, I'm not going to be able to focus, you guys. I am not going to be able to focus. We just need to get out here and destroy these guys quickly if we can. Alright. One. I feel like I'm taking damage. I don't know what's going on. To be honest with you. I see a chest over that direction. Um, oh, there's a witch. Oh, gosh. At least the witches can't do too much to us, right? In terms of knockback, they can poison us. But beyond that... It shouldn't be too difficult. Let's go ahead and check and see what this chest is over here, shall we? Uh, knockback. Bane of arthropods. Alright, alright. Fantastic. Was there another chest somewhere? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just keep going. I got 30 seconds of poison, but the hunger, as we learned a few episodes ago, should help to uh, counteract the effects of that. Oh, skeleton guy. Skeleton guy. Skeleton guy came from where, exactly? Um, lots of spiders. There was like a skeleton wearing a chest plate, I think. But I don't know where he came from. I do not know. Yeah, there's something going on with like the poison effect too. Like I can't, I can't hear the poison. Oh gosh. Oh, there's the skeleton spawner. Fantastic. And this guy's probably going to spawn another one. Nope, we got to it just in time. Alright. 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 Let's continue on. Let's put a little, a few more blocks there just to be safe. Just to be safe. I would love for some more ender pearls. If you would be so kind, dear map maker. But I have a feeling you're not going to be that nice to me, huh? Let's back off so we're out of range and just shoot these guys off. This, yeah, I mean, I, I love the concept behind this area. Um... Especially because even with the blindness, like in the void, you know, you can you can still see. You can still see the outline of everything. So it's really uh, makes for this very eerie, kind of creepy effect. Um, while not being too challenging. Like we did that one mini-map from Zcash not too long ago that was just a bit too much as far as using the void fog goes. Uh, so this is nice. This is nice. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this thoroughly, and I think that's it, right? And they're having some AI problems, of course, of course. Take you out. Uh, and then there's an arrow pointing down. Um, that's interesting. Oh, okay, there's just a little portal there. That wasn't, that wasn't too bad. Um, I thought it was going to be a bit harder, and that really didn't take very long at all. <laughs> so... But yeah, I guess that that's it. I guess that that is the end of the map, then. Let's go ahead and place the final wool, black wool. And see what our reward is. Oh, thank you so much. I can now roam here without the undead becoming a nuisance. I kind of forgot about the whole... The, the lore part of this, that there was a guardian angel character involved. Well, that was that was short, but, but still fun. And... One thing that I love about these Strawberry Jan maps is to get to see map makers testing out new ideas. And so I think that's what was what Ty was really going for there is, um, you know, testing out blindness in the end. And I think, I think that makes for a really cool effect. Um, the area itself seemed a little short. But again, we got, we got six wools out of this map. So that's, that's, that's good, right? Well, um, yeah, overall, I like the map. I think my favorite thing about it is just the layout of the map. It's not the traditional with the intersections. You know, areas kind of blend together. It forces the player to make a decision about where to go. Although it was still fairly linear uh, in the end. Um, the final two areas seem kind of eh compared to the other ones. Uh, but that may have just been a, a time factor. And I hate 1.9 combat. 
Uh, and what else? What else? I I love the more challenging mobs as well. The the skeletons with axes and and stuff like that. The one guy's riding spiders. It reminded me a lot of the the guys from uh, Vex's server who he has taken out because they were apparently too hard f for everybody else. Although I I really enjoyed them and I enjoyed them in this map as well. It's like oh my gosh, there's a skeleton in diamond armor coming at me on top of a speed spider, a speedy spider. Speedy Spider is speedy, so anyways, I hope to see more of that kind of stuff in the future. Uh, so I guess next map we will be playing, it should be out, uh, not tomorrow, but the next day, and I'll keep doing these Strawberry Jam maps until we are finished with all of them. Anyways, you guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Thank you, Ty, for making the map and giving me some stuff, some content to put up on my, on my channel, some, some amazing content. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time.